I mean, it, it didn't go great in the fact that uh, we gave up a two-run homer there in the first. Um, you know, I, I, I thought that, you know, other than that, you know, coming in there, we did a night, we got a nice job from Zach for the most part. Um, thought he threw the ball well and, you know, got us into the middle innings at least before the two-run homer there. And, um, you know, things just fell apart, you know, brought Duff in and, and, and things kind of got unraveled there with uh, umpire's interpretation of what happened with Maddie and, uh, and Beltre there, unfortunately. And then we just had to kind of deal with those consequences. What was the explanation there on the Belial situation? Well, I, I think the umpires thought there was history between our teams. Um, didn't make a lot of sense to me and the aesthetics of the three-year home run inning. Um, you know, I, I can tell you that we had no intent to hit Beltre and certainly wasn't on our radar because of the way the game was going or anything that happened in the past. It was kind of a combination of Maddie getting out there after a long layoff and trying something different. And, and you know, I think Beltre would be the first one to tell you he doesn't think Maddie blew out through at him. But unfortunately, you know, they, they said they had people they had to answer to and they were well aware of whatever they think our history was which is unfortunate I think we all moved on and uh, made a quick call made a quick ejection before the game you told me you were a little anxious a lot curious to see how the opener situation would go how does today I guess affect what what your opinions or your thoughts are uh, it's you know not changed I mean it's one game um, you know you're hoping to get a uh, chance to get through the first inning unscathed, and we didn't. Between, we talked about it the other day. Every time we seem to walk somebody, it's been it's been haunting us a little bit. And turned into a two-run homer there. You know, um, Andrus, very good first ball, fastball hitter. If you throw it, you better be careful. And he missed his spot, and so we had to live with that. But as far as moving forward, there's going to be more people to get opportunities in those situations. Um, we we'll just have to keep trying to find the right guy to get the game started on a good note. Um, I th we just kind of noticed that he was shaking his arm out a little bit. Um, went out there, he just said that it, it was normal. Just, you know, try maybe a little bit, try to get re ready a little bit quickly with it, with the way he had to come into the game. But he said he was fine to get the last hitter out. He threw the ball well, the last hitter. You know, well, he's, it's, you know, it hasn't been overextended, but obviously coming in was a little, little bit different circumstance for him. With the previous history thing, don't they have to tell both sides at the start of a series that you're on that kind of list? Well, I, I, I'm not going to get too long-winded on it. I, I think that if if they had that in their mindset about going to the series, you know, we certainly didn't hear a whisper of it until, you know, we their guy got hit there. So, um, yeah, didn't make a lot of sense as far as where I, where I stand, and I let them know about it, but I don't know how he let me stay in the game, but he did, and we moved on. Did you get the sense Zach was pretty comfortable coming in there? I yeah. mean, I mean, you know, I think everyone's probably going to, you know, probably say the right things. I hope they believe it. Uh, anything new, you know, shifts, four-man outfields, openers, um, you know, if you're going to use it as an excuse for a, a bad outing, then – we got to do a better job of getting these guys to embrace it. But I, I think he was prepared. I, his comments say that he he understands. Um, he was pretty flexible about how we were going to use him first, second, or third inning. And you know, he came in. He had a little trouble early, but you know, he got through it. Put up three zeros for us. What primary guy will face the lineup a third time? Sometimes. Um, you know, it depends on where he enters and who it's going to be. Um, you know, and we thought we were in pretty good shape heading, heading into the bottom of the lineup, even though we saw those guys a third time after three zeros. Pitches were still reasonable. It just happened quick. He got the, I think it was the, the 2 0 double um, that got scorched, and uh, Torino's just trying to get him over, it looked like, and end up hitting the ball over the right center field fence. Until the uh, home run for Littell, um made a lot of pitches when, even with some traffic. What did you yeah. see? What was he doing better there? And uh, I thought his off speed was good. He got a lot of swings and misses on the curve and the, and the slider, and you know he seemed to use his fastball effectively. I, I, I thought it was you know better than we had seen him the first time, um, first go round. So yeah, hopefully he feels like he can build off it. It, it, it did end great the last two hitters, but for the most part it was very competitive.